Hey everyone, welcome to a new video for CLZ Comics and today I wanted to show you the edit multiple feature. Uh, some of you may have already used it before, some of you may have not, so I wanted to show you uh, how powerful this uh, this feature is in uh, in the app. So to begin, I wanted to show you how to uh, use edit multiple to add series group to a number to multiple issues. So what I'm going to do, I'm first going to show you the series group folder, which is this one, and you can see my series groups here. So if I uh, tap on Batman, then you'll see all my Batman comics in there. Now these are not all my Batman comics, so I want to add a couple more. So I'm going to go back to the series folder and I'm, I want to add the all-star Batman series to it so I'm opening up the series and then I tap on this button the third one from the top right which is to enable selection mode so tap on that and then I'm just gonna select these comics I could also use the all button to select all of them then I'll tap on the action button and there's an edit button now it says here I have four comics selected and if I uh, tap on edit it means I'm gonna edit those four comics so tap on edit now I have to select which fields I want to edit so this time I'm only going to change the series group for the four comics I selected so I'm gonna find it by typing and I'm just gonna tick the, the little circle there and then I'm gonna tap on edit top right so this is the edit multiple screen uh, right now you see that series group is gray and at the top it also says gray fields the contents will be removed for four comics so if I do nothing this field will be emptied I'm gonna show you that later so now I'm gonna tap on series group and this time I'm gonna add these to the Batman series group so I tap on that and then I tap done I confirm and now all these these four comics they all have uh, Batman as a series group you can see that here under details I'll also show you again here by tapping the folder button I'm gonna find series groups again tap it and I'll tap Batman and as you can see I already saw that it has four extra uh, issues in there now let's try something else wait we, we're gonna so I'm gonna change this back to series now we are back in series folders so I wanted to show you that you can also uh, edit multiple fields at the same time for multiple comics so hit this time I'm gonna edit all my comics so I hit the all comics at the top I'll show you that again what was a bit a bit fast so here at the top you see all comics I have an 1167 and then I tap this selection mode button again this is now in selection mode and straight away at the bottom I'm gonna tap on all so now I have 1167 selected it says so at the bottom I'm gonna tap action again here just to confirm 1167 comics selected select your action which is gonna be edit and now I'm gonna change uh, for this I'm gonna change the owner field so I'm gonna search for owner there it is and I also want to change storage box so I'm gonna tap that one too and then I'm gonna tap edit so right now I have two fields that I'm gonna edit for 1167 comics it's quite a lot of comics uh, it is a powerful tool so I'm gonna tap on storage box I have this great storage box called test in here yeah you know when you test the apps then you get these kinds of things so I'm gonna tap new storage box and I'm calling this um, I don't know maybe storage box uh, 12 hit done and I'm gonna change the owner to AJ so I'm gonna hit done 
And I'm going to change the data for 1167 comics. Hit the continue button. It takes a little while and now it's it's all done. So right now, if I change the folders to, well, st say storage box, I will have one storage box called 12, which holds all my comics. Which, of course, is not really possible, but I'm just showing you this for, for the video for information purpose. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, owner, which I also just changed for all those comics. And you can see that all my comics are now in the AJ box. Now, I understand that, that this is, of course, uh, a little bit strange. So, um, right now, let's say... All right, I'm going to show you how to uh, how to clear uh, a field for, for all comics. So, I'm going to go back to the series folders. I'm going to hit all comics. And go back to selection mode. And hit the all button. Hit action. And hit edit. It's really it's really that simple. So what I want to do is I want to clear the storage box field for all these comics. So I just hit edit. And like I told you before, um, if I if I leave this to be gray, then this field will be emptied for all comics I'm currently editing. So I'm just gonna hit done. Hit continue. And now if I go to well, storage box folders. You're going to see that all my comics are back in the non folder because all the storage box information has been removed. All right. Well, uh, I hope you had uh, you found this video informative. Um, be careful with this tool because, well, we always say with this tool, uh, like Uncle Ben, with great power comes great responsibility. And this tool really has great power. So. Just, just be careful with it. Play around with it. Uh, I hope you like it. And uh, I'll see you, Z, you next time.